Hello, welcome back uh, on the series of DSP TMS 3205 to 8335. In this lecture, we will look at uh, uh, detail about uh, Code Composer Studio. The objective of this lecture uh, is uh, to introduce uh, introduce on uh, Code Composer Studio. So first, we will uh, create a new project in the Code Composer Studio. So, what are the steps included in the uh, create for creation of new projects? Uh, in the code composer studio we will look at that uh, after that uh, we will uh, do some programming basic programming and uh, we will try to build and debug the program uh, after completion of debug uh, we will plot a graph for the particular variables which we have used in the program and we will set the data points and the size of the data points in the graph window as well so uh, first we will look at uh, what are the um, main parts of the code computer studio uh, it includes the ccs workspace uh, we can create a new project and uh, debug a program watch your variable perform a single step debug real time debug graph window and view register so the debug uh, debug meaning um, suppose uh, you have written a program now you want to uh, up upload your code into the dsp processor so you if you want to upload you want to download your code into the dsp processor so it is called a debugging of the program and what is the watch your variable means uh, suppose you have run your program and you want to see your variables uh, so you can see your variable in the variable expression windows or we will see that also in, in the uh, subsequent slides and uh, <clears throat> you can uh, plot your graph and you can plot your FFT also you can perform uh, a single step debug or you can perform a real-time debug as well so first we will look at uh, simple steps to for create of new project so we just click on the code compose studio as you can see here after creating this window will happen uh, so after that uh, workspace launcher will appear and uh, as you can see here it is the location uh, and this is the location of your uh, workspace so you can choose the location um, uh, accordingly so after uh, making ok uh, this window will appear so now we want to create a new project so just go to the file uh, new CSS project so now we want to create a new project so first we have to give the project name the project name is example and the family uh, so the tms320 f28335 is related to c2000 family so we have given the c2000 and uh, that is related to 2833x delphino family so and uh, because tms320 f28335 is related to delphino family and the connections between the dsp processor and to uh, your host computer throughout the usb emulator so there are we have a text instrument usb emulator version 2 so we just click on that and just finish it after finishing you, you can see this window will appear so in this window uh, you can see one thing two buttons one button is this one one button is this one so this button is for the building and this button for the debugging so what is the meaning of building and debugging building means suppose you have written the code and you just click on that button if your code is work if there is no error it will work finally it will uh, this window uh, this window will show there is no error and build successfully and after building successfully uh, you just click on uh, this button green color button to download your code into the dsp processor so we will see this one in the detail So <clears throat> I have written the code uh, for the simple convolution. So I have built the prod, the build finish, and I have debug. After debugging, uh, this window will appear. In this window, uh, you can see several uh, buttons and several things are here. Mm. 
so here it is the expression window we can see here expression window now i am writing the variables x y and h in the expression window to see whether my variables are whether my code is running or not so i can see i can just uh, add new expression just typing the name of the variable x y and h the size of this variable are integer 7 so we have given the integer 7 so these are the 3 3 3 so at the initial stage we have given the uh, values of each variable x y and h you can see x values of x y and values of h you can see here now i just run the code and i want to see so you can see here now the uh, uh, our result is in a y now i want to plot just right click and go to the graph so you can see in the bottom so the graph is plot this is the, in the form of line now i want to convert into the bar so uh, because sample based i want so i just um, data plots style i uh, did in a bar so it will plot in the form of bar so you can see the values and corresponding samples so we have a same samples after that it will repeat and i want to plot a h also so i want to see that also in the bar just follow this test what which i have done you will get the whole idea so here you can see it is uh, now i want to plot a h also oh no i don't want so this program is a for simple convolution okay now I'll see the graphs and FFT window. As you can see here, um, there are two windows. One is the for normal graph. One is the for FFT analysis of that particular signal. So, in this, you can see acquisition buffer size. So, acquisition buffer size here it is five one two. So, you can change uh, the size to seven for your previous slides uh, which uh, we have run the simple convolution so equation buffer size you just change the 5, 5 1 2, 2 7 and 32 bit sign integer and uh, a start address will be the address of your variable you can give directly the variable name and you can check uh, your address of your variable name uh, in the expression window as well itself now you want to plot if you want to plot the axis display just click on this one if you want to plot a uh, data plot size style you want to plot it in the form of line or you want to plot in the form of samples so you get change the line to the bar and display data size your equation buffer size is 7 so you can uh, take 7 or more than that also depends on how much data type you want to see in your graph <coughs> window if you want a grid and time display unit you want in the samples you want in the seconds you want in the milliseconds you want in the microsecond so you can change uh, this time display unit also now we come to the uh, uh, this one fft analysis all things will be the same but the fft window will be the fft frame size is 32 fft order is 5 and fft window function is a hemming window so you can uh, analyze the how many frequency component uh, my signal contains so uh, this is the way to create a new program using the code composer studio uh, in the next lecture we will see some advance of the dsp program mm, for example we will see the gpio input gpio general purpose input output and how can we use that gpio general purpose input output for a particular application so we will first we will look at in the detail about the gpio pins how to access the gpio pins and uh, for the particular application and which pins can be used for what purpose we will look at in the detail in the next lecture okay thank you if you find any difficulties you just comment on me uh, in the comment sections and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much